How do I find the time to change career? Or even start thinking about a career change, starting my own business. If you're currently in full-time employment as a corporate employee, then those are probably exact thoughts that are going through your mind. I've designed this video and the techniques in it specifically for you because I really know what it feels like when you're there and you just want to get out. And if you're watching this video, you're probably in the kind of scenario where you already know you need a career change. You're probably feeling miserable, fed up, and you just know you need to get out. But you're also feeling like you're working all day, all night, kind of. So where are you going to find that time? It's almost like your time is out of your hands. It belongs to your employer. You know, you probably run to work in the morning, run out to get a sandwich. Before you know it, it's 6, 7, 8 p.m. And all you want to do is just pass out in front of the TV, whatever great series is on, or go shopping, or go down the pub. I was there 10 years ago when I worked for Morgan Stanley. I know how you feel. It's like, before you know it, the day is gone. And what do you do? Where was that time to think about your career change? That's why what I want to share with you here as a remedy is not traditional time management techniques because that's not really my game. What I want to share with you is actually something that you can control rather than manage. So focus on those times during the day where you actually have pockets of time that do belong to you and then create routines that you do over and over again in order to get the results you want. So the key word here is routines and let's talk about when you're going to be doing them. So one of the fastest and most effective ways to create time in your life for your career change is to implement and honor a career change morning routine. Yeah, that's right, a career change morning routine. Everybody can control their mornings. You just need to get up one hour earlier. Pay yourself first, first thing in the morning. If something is truly a priority in your life, you should make that the first thing that you do in the morning consistently. That's the second word here. Consistency. You know, consistency is really key to all big and lasting changes. And by putting in place and consistently honoring a career change morning routine, you are literally putting yourself on the path to making your career change inevitable. So what do you do in that career change morning routine? Now, clearly it depends on at what stage you are in your career change, but really what I suggest is just focus on one thing at a time, your one thing. So when I'm working on something really big, I get up at five o'clock in the morning and the day before I put on a post to know the one thing I'm gonna do. And if I do that one thing, I can move on to the next one. But what I suggest you do something really concrete. And if you watched any of my videos, you know that I'm very big around taking action and moving out to the test driving stage as soon as you can in your career change once you're clear about what you want. So it could be something like write an email to John from Uber to request and him to come to my networking dinner and really spend time making that email being really personal, warm, making you look good. Why should he come? It could be implement Facebook ads for my pop up event for my new fashion boutique or it could be research and connect with people within the wearable technology industry. Something very concrete that gets you out from behind your computer eventually, but that also means that you're reaching out to someone outside of your comfort zone. So really get very specific as to what you're doing because that means you get a really quick win first thing in the morning and you just really feel in control of your career change and that's a really damn good feeling because by the time you get to work, you don't feel so resentful because you've already done what you could to get your career change off the ground. You see, that's why it's so effective. Do it first thing in the morning, invest in yourself, pay yourself first. So how do I suggest you do this for you? Now, rather than feeling really intimidated by this and thinking, oh my God, five days a week, oh my God, that's so intimidating, start with whatever you can, whatever you consistently can do. So if it's only two mornings a week, that's better than nothing because consistency creates a compound effect. So over time, you'll get massive results. But do try to work out to five mornings a week. That's what gets you the best results. But just treat this initially as an experiment to say, hey, for the next six weeks, I'm gonna do two mornings a week or five mornings a week, but I'm gonna be consistent. And then after those six weeks, review, how did it work? Should I use more or less time? Just start with one hour twice a week or one hour five times a week. What matters is you get started and that you're consistent. Then what you can do after those six weeks review, do I need to do more, do I need to do less, and just play with this. But once you start seeing results, you're not going to want to go back because you're going to feel so in control, you're going to feel so amazing. Now, morning routines are becoming really popular as well in the world of fitness, high performance, personal development. So you might have heard about the concept before. What I'm doing here is I am specifically 
targeting it at career change, so career change morning routine. If you're wondering about things like how do I get up more, how do I get up earlier, or how do I repair the night before, all those kind of practical things around creating a morning routine full stop, you might want to look at my friend Hal Elrott's book called Miracle Mornings. He's got some very good chapters in there about how to get used to getting up early, how to repair the night before, and all that stuff. So do check that out. What I would say, I know there are some of you looking at me going, hey, Ricky, hold on. I got three kids under the age of five. How do you expect me to take you know, control of my mornings? Or you might be somebody who work in the mornings. That's okay. What we're talking about here is consistency and doing something over and over and over again until you get the desired result. So if you cannot do your mornings, do your evenings or do your afternoons, whatever it is, you just need to find that time that you can consistently take charge of. Okay, so it doesn't really matter, but for the majority of people watching this video, we can all get up one hour earlier and make our career change a priority, you include it. So put yourself first, first thing in the morning, put your career change first and watch it take off like a rocket. So if you like this video, you found this helpful, you probably got one or two friends who are in the same scenario as you who really need this help. So feel free to share this video with them. Do sign up as well, subscribe to get more videos. And I'll see you in the next video. I cannot wait to hear how you're doing with this morning career change routine. So keep it up.